And so it begins. Hello and welcome back to Yogscarf 2. So today I'm going to play a strange little game by uh, the makers of Teponia, so Daydectic Entertainment. Uh, it's called The Night of the Rabbit. But this is like a magical adventure with a rabbit in it. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. And this man is very upset because he could have prevented everything. And I don't know whether the rest of what we're about to see is going to be a flashback. But he's got a travelling case that looks like a magician's case and it's disappeared. So maybe it is magic. I just don't know. Oh, um, he hello. Now I reckon this is very didactic entertainment arty form, isn't it? Goodness me. There's a rabbit. There's a man. I must be the rabbit for now. That's all fine by me. Who are you? I do not know, sir. Can you not speak? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you don't know? I don't know. I don't know. Are you lost? Uh. Uh. I. Oh. I'm going to say no, just to see what happens. Oh, so you're looking for the beginning of your story. I, I guess so. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. Good. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. I, no, I'd never dream of it. I, it's not really what I'm here for. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, genuinely. I just sort of sat down and started playing this game. All right. To find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a white rabbit, and he was called Dave. Hello. I'm Dave. I'm sure I'm not Dave, but never mind. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. Okay. And you will recognize it. Uh, okay. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Is it like warm melting chocolate? Because I could, I could do with that. Do you understand? Sure. Yes, yes. Yes, I understand. Really? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. I don't know what you're on about, mate, because clearly you've just not met anyone for a while. <laughs> Tea? What are you doing in here? I really need to stop calling everything that's green and lizardy tea. Or horse tea. The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Well, the window is open in my office, so I thought that was just me. But if it's you too, then I guess, you know, maybe we've got a problem. I wish you'd stop moving around, though. I'm trying to do my own thing. And, uh, try to eat some, uh, some dried apple with toffee sauce, which is 68 calories. Mmm. There's your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. Fuck you. I would have had a good go. You look familiar somehow. Well, don't bloody ask me, mate, because I've never seen you before in my life. I'm sure we shall meet again. Unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. If you've got a hand, just, you know, throwing that out there. Oh! Um, what the devil just happened? Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. Maybe he is. Maybe you're like that artist in Heroes, and everything you write comes to life. Or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. Bye, strange man. Stick man. Oh, this is very nice. After a long summer day in a place not far away, 
Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed. Hazelnut. To dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. Shit, tea's on the bookcase. He gets bloody everywhere, that horse. One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. Oh, that's creepy. I, I, there's a difference between a dream as in an aspiration and a, a dream that you've dreamed at night. I find that creepy, maybe. Also, the red-eyed rabbit isn't helping with that. It does have a... It's weird, because it does have a very... I, I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but it reminds me of... It's, it's getting, I'm getting the vibe of, I'm getting the vibe of, you know, Alice in Wonderland, Spirited Away, um, My Neighbour Totoro, that other one by Studio Ghibli, The King Cat or whatever the sod it is. And the, the British version of it is voiced by the guy who, who was uh, Princess Bride Jerry. Man. Carrie Yules. Jerry! Uh, uh, yeah? What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine. You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? What? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. Oh, thank God. You don't have to worry about your things until then. Good. I still have two days before school starts. Oh, yeah. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Ha <laughs> ha! Calm down. It sounds a bit like Rupert Bear, like in the old cartoons. Unless you're too old for that, uh, young for that. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. <laughs> this is very weird. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. OK, follow my lead. It is very Rupert Bear, isn't it? And Famous Five, sort of, as well. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Well, I'm going to drop out any time, because this is the tutorial. I know everything, mate. Sh shut up. There we go. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 God. Bye. Yeah, but... But bye. There we go. Right. That was the tutorial. Sorry. I just thought I'd skip that, because, you know, it's the same as the other didactic stuff. I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. We might also need to feed it to a rabbit in like two minutes time. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last How night. How very suspicious. I'd say it was a mysterious, long extinct mammal. Don't be ridiculous. It's a giant bloody rabbit. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. No, mate. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. See, this is weird because it's it's quintessentially British in some aspects. He sounds like sodding Rupert Bear. And it's just, you know, all of that stuff. And then he says sense, which kind of throws me. So I guess we have to just pretend it's an imaginary land where everything is mishmashed together. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm OK, Mum. I won't need them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. What? You said I had two days. Plot inconsistency. You said I had two days, woman. Now you've lied to me. We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. It's been living? I'm not sure I like that. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. Oh, OK. We leave, we leave him little gifts. I'm not sure I like that. Let's go and look at my well-camouflaged secret stash. I've got an unnatural dislike on things of stone statues after Spirited Away. Hmm. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. Huh. As usual, the coast is clear. 
my secret stash. What is your secret stash of? Is it drugs? Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause. Oh, it's magic tools. It would be it would be so much funnier if it was drugs. But that's against the spirit of uh, kid-friendly entertainment, everyone. What do we have here? Matches. Those are not magician's tools. That might be. And a gold coin. Let the adventure begin. Okay. Oh. Ah. You might want to shut that. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my son. No, you don't want random people to see it, I think is what you mean. Um, let's get the basket as well. I reckon we need the basket. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket, could you go and pick some blackberries for me? Oh, God. Damn it. Yes, Mother. Boy, pick blackberries, check. Okay, off we go into the forest. Sod the red currants. We'll get them when we get back. Oh, my God. Who's been littering? Who dumps their trash here in the woods? Shame on them. Shame on them. Oh, unbelievable. What else we got? We got a group of small statues. Mum says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. I think there were more of them a couple of years ago. Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here. Really? Long before there were cars. Okay. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. I, I see, okay. A small prone statue. You made yourself comfortable, lazy bones. Oh, poor, poor, poor lazy prone statue. It's not his fault. That's the wall. A bit smaller than the wall in Game of Thrones. A large statue with an acorn. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I wonder why. Well, it's a squirrel, you know. They're always a bit strange. It looks so satisfied. I'm just clicking on all the crazy shit. Uh, well, let's pick the blackberries. Ah. There are blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. Ah, uh, okay. Well, maybe I need to... Hang on, let's just come back. Maybe I need to find a way around. Is that an owl there? I don't know what it... Oh, no, because... It... Didn't they say it's the owl's wall or something? Or did I add that in? Because I'm... I'm... I'm a bit weird. What's this? Is that a turtle? I always used to sit on this rock. Huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. What have we got? We've got the pond. We've got a flat stone, a heavy round stone. We've got a stick. I'll come back for the stone. The old path tree. Ah. I'll take that. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Oh, okay. Circular mushrooms? Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. Yep. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Well, only sometimes, not all the time. The Owl's Wall. It runs between the trees. Is there anything else? Pond? I used to fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. Uh. Okay, uh, I think I've gotten everything in here except for the heavy round stone and the flat stone. I guess. Can I? Ooh, what am I supposed to do with I can't carry it very far. Uh, okay, we'll put it down then. That's Just rude. put it down. Just put it down. I can see we're not going to get anywhere with that uh, at this point. Obviously, there's some, some further shit I need to do with that ridiculousness. Am I missing something? Ugh. The town looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fear. Oh, shit! There's a hedgehog! Hedgehog! Hedge! Hedgehog! He you missed the hedgehog! It looks even worse down there. School. There's only two days of summer vacation left. You missed the hedgehog, dude? What the fuck? Now that's an even worse thought. Uh, although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. Yes, we've established that. Okay. Well, we can use the... We can use the the uh, uh, eye. We could use the twig to knock the thorny bush away. Yay! Ah! No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. Nom 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 blackberry pie. Not a big fan of blackberry pie. 
They look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. There we go. They also look like they need picking. Uh, and then I guess we use the stick again. Good idea. And then we pick them. Now it's off. They're screaming to be picked. Well, I don't think they're screaming. I can't hear anything. So, I, you know, you might be asking a bit there. Um, I'm going to check that rock again. Because maybe I was a bit too too quick to... Too quick to stop there. I don't know. Let's have a look. I mean, I'm not... Am I missing something? Oh. Oh, hello. I'm missing something. There we go. You can draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. Oh, okay. You never know. I'm sure you could just take one, but okay. I'll try it again. See if we can move it into the fairy pond. Whoa, what am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. Well, can you put it in the circle of mushrooms? I'll put the heavy rock. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. Don't worry. Calm yourself. Let's go and take Mother the Blackberries. 